today we are making the flying kite block, which is block number one. We've pre-cut our fabrics and labeled our pieces with our alphabeties. For this block, you will need the following. From your background, you need one eight and a quarter inch square cut on the diagonal twice and four two and three eight by seven and seven eighth inch rectangles. From your fabric C, you need one eight and a quarter inch square cut on the diagonal twice from each fabric C and from your fabric D, you need one six by seven and seven eighth inch rectangles from each fabric D. Our first step is to assemble one fabric A triangle and one fabric C triangle. So just take your fabrics from your design board, place them right sides together, and you want to pin at your 90 degree angle. And then you want to sew from your tip to your 90 degree point. You're going to use a quarter inch seam allowance and a 2.0 stitch length. Next, we're going to set our seams and press. You're going to press towards your darker fabric, and we're going to go ahead and repeat that step for our remaining fabric A and fabric C triangles. Next, we're going to sew our fabric B rectangles to our fabric D rectangles. So just put your fabrics right sides together and pin at the very bottom. And then just sew using a quarter inch seam. Now go ahead and iron your fabric towards your lighter print and I've gone ahead and sewn all of my fabric B, D units. Now let's cut our fabric B, D units. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a diagonal from corner to corner following the pattern. First, lay your ruler and make sure that your points are right on the point and you're going to cut. You're going to discard this piece and you're going to keep this piece and we've already cut our remaining pieces. So our next step is to assemble our units for our block. So just follow your pattern and we're going to pin these two units together. To be most accurate, it's best to mark the center of each unit. And then you've got your center already marked here. You're going to layer the two centers and pin. And then you'll pin at your very tip. And we're going to sew using a quarter inch seam. Having lots of pins will help since you have a lot of bias edges here, so extra pins is very helpful. So let's sew. Just remove your pins as you sew. And now that that's assembled, you want to press towards your triangle unit. We've already assembled the rest of our blocks, and our next step is to put our final block together. So now just move your blocks according to your pattern. And then put your blocks right sides together. 
And then we're going to pin each unit, pin at the bottom of each square, and then at the top your seams should nest. One should go to the right and your other one should go to the left. So you can just push them together and pin right there. Pin once in the center. Do the same thing for your top block. And then we're going to sew using a quarter inch seam starting all the way at the top and going all the way to the bottom and do not cut your seam in between. So just take your block, leave your chain piece together, and then what you're going to do is press your seams towards your red triangle. And now we're almost done. Just place your block right sides together and pin. In the very center, your seams will nest. One will go to the right and one will go to the left. So you can just push them together and pin. Pin at the ends and in the centers. And then let's sew the last seam. So now we're going to starch and press. I like to starch my block heavily. You can let your block sit for a few minutes before you press. So I'm going to set my seam. You can press your seam either direction. And now I like to trim my block just to get the little slivers off the end. So to do that, I'm going to line my ruler, one of the lines on the center seam. And I'm just going to trim. And do that on all four sides. Thanks for sewing with me today and make sure to come back on February 1st for our double windmill block. See you then!